Hey guys, so today I'm filming my monthly makeup basket for September and I have a lot of new goodies that I'm excited to use. But before I get started, I want to show you my new makeup storage for my monthly makeup basket. I'm in love with it and I just got it for my birthday and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So here's what my storage looks like. There are six drawers, four long ones and two shorter ones. I will insert a picture for you guys so you can see what it looks like better. I found this at TJ Maxx. A couple people have been posting pictures of this on Instagram saying that they found it for 20 bucks at Marshalls. I went to Marshalls, I couldn't find it, but I did find the same one at TJ Maxx for $40, which I know you guys are probably like, why would you spend that much? But this is perfect. I've been wanting to try some Muji acrylic storage, but I didn't think the drawers would be deep enough and I didn't wanna buy a whole bunch of separate pieces. So this was perfect and it was worth every penny to me. During the transportation, a couple of the drawers did crack a little bit, so this isn't the most durable acrylic, but I still really like it, so I wanted to share it with you drawer by drawer. So my top drawer is actually nail polish, and that's just what I've put in there right now. These are all of my newest nail polishes that I haven't worn yet, so I'll share those with you really quickly if you wanna see. So I have three of these Wet n Wild Wild Shines. This is from their summer collection. I just found them. This is the color Chambray Shower. This peachy shade is called Ferris Wheel Romance. And this teal is called Gypsy Green. So I'm really excited to try those. I also have the polish that I'm wearing today, which is OPI, my dog sled is a hybrid. That's what I'm wearing on some of my fingers today. I also have OPI Fly. I have Essie Boxer Shorts. I have the Milani Color Statement and Corrupted Coral. And lastly, I have the Formula X Polish and Dynamic. So those are all just, like I said, my newest polishes. And I just have them here so they're at easy reach for me to pull them out. And they're such beautiful colors, I just love looking at them. And that is what I love about acrylic storage. I love being able to see all of my products so I can't forget any of them. And as you know, I do my monthly makeup baskets to make sure that I rotate through my collection so I can use all the products that I have. So the second smaller shelf is all of my most used eyebrow products. So I have the NYX Eyebrow Gel in Blonde, my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe, my MAC Eyeshadow in Omega, my Soap and Glory Brow Archery Pencil in Love is Blonde, my NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyebrow Primer, my NYX Eyebrow Shaper Wax Pencil, my Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter in Number 2 Matte Cream Luminous Lift, my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, my Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel, and my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ash Blonde Taupe. So the first long drawer is dedicated to my complexion products. So for primers, I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer and my NYX Pore Filler. I've actually not used this yet, but I'm very excited to try it out. I've heard a lot of great things for oil control, and you guys know I'm still working on this pore filler from NYX. I also have two foundations this month. First, I have my Estee Day Lauder Double Wear in 1W1 Bone. As you can see, I am almost out of this, so I'm gonna just try to use it up. And I also have my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation in the shade number 20. This is a tiny bit deeper than my skin tone, so I definitely need to be using it during this time of year while I still have a slight bit of color to my skin. I also have two concealers. For my blemishes, I'm using the NYX HD Concealer in Fair. This has wonderful coverage and it's a great color for me. I've only been using this for a couple weeks and I can tell that it's already running low. These NYX concealers have a really, really, really small amount of product in them, but they work so well and they're very inexpensive. For my under eyes, I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, the Brightener. I'm like halfway through this puppy, but I think it works so well. I actually used it just on its own. I'm very fortunate that I don't have very dark under eye circles, so I can use this on its own, and I love the finish. To set my under eyes, I have my Ben Nye Cameo Powder. I love the way that this looks on my skin. And then for face powder, I have my NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat Powder Foundation. I have the shade number one Ivory and number two Nude. The shade Ivory, I wear with my Makeup Forever foundation because like I said it's a little bit deep and then the number two nude I wear with my Estee Lauder because it's a little bit too light for me so I am making up for that with the powder so this is ivory and this is nude 
So the second long drawer down is all dedicated to cheek products. And as you can see, these have like a really nice depth to them that I can actually stack some things and they all fit nicely, which is why I love this organization piece so much. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be using my Benefit Hula. As you can see, I'm almost out of this. It has started to shatter and I have only a little bit left. So I'm going to try to use this up. The same with my contour powder. I have my NYX Blush and Taupe, which is in a bunch of crumbly pieces, but I do want to try to use this. I'm wearing it today. But I also have my Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm. I love this one in the fall because it's a nice deep color, but it is a cool tone as you can see. So I have picked out three blushes to use this month. First would be Max Cantaloupe. It's a nice neutral peach, so I know it will be really great for this time and the looks that I have planned. I'm also going to be wearing my Clinique Cheek Pop in Ginger Pop. This is new to me. I got it for my birthday. If you haven't seen that haul video, I'll link it up here. So I'm excited to give this one some love because those Clinique blushes have an awesome formula. And my last blush is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul, one of my favorites. And it doesn't look like much in the pan, but on your cheeks, it is so beautiful. And it looks really, really great on fair skin, especially. And then to highlight, I still have my Estee Lauder Cheek Gel-A in Heat Wave. I want to keep using this. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful color and I want to give it some more love. So the third drawer has all of my eye products and I have some standbys and some new things that I really want to play around with this month. So for eyeshadow primer, I have the one from Milani. I'm working my way through this and it works really well. And then I have a couple of different bases in here. I have my Milani Shadow Eyes and Almond Cream. I also have four Maybelline color tattoos. I have the shades Creamy Beige and Bad to the Bronze. I also have Deep Forest and Mossy Green. This is a shimmery color and this is a matte. So I'm gonna see what I like best and I'm just excited to be playing with those this month. So for the actual eyeshadows this month, I am probably going to be reaching for my Meat Matte Nude Palette from The Balm and my Too Faced Naked Eye for my work makeup. You guys know that I reach for that all the time. And on my easygoing Saturday, Sunday makeup days, I have two different transition colors that I plan on using. So first would be NYX Haywire. This has been in my favorites. I love this one for a cool tone transition color. And for a warm tone transition color, I've recently been loving this Milani Bella Eyes eyeshadow in Bella Cappuccino. This is such a gorgeous warm transition color. So that's what I'm gonna be wearing. Let me know if you guys would like to see a no makeup makeup look. I think that might be my tutorial at the end of the month because I had a request to show my everyday work makeup, which for me is like no makeup makeup. So I definitely want to do that. If you guys would be interested, I think that'd be really exciting. But these are my two transition colors that I reach for on those no makeup makeup days. And then I also have my Wet n Wild Brulee to just pop on my lid with those transition colors. So I also have some more fun looks planned out for this month. First, I have two of the ColourPop eyeshadows. This first one I have is Get Lucky, which is just a gold color. I also have the shade Sequin, which is a coppery color. So I'm excited to use both of those this month. They are super intense and I'm excited to play around with them some more. I also plan on using my Naked 3 palette this month. I'm wearing it today and I love it. So I wanna keep playing around with it and come up with some great looks and hopefully film a chit chat get ready with me using this or some tutorials for you guys. So let me know your favorite color combinations. I'm having a really fun time playing with this palette. And of course I have to bring out some MAC eyeshadows this month. So the look that I plan on reaching for is my MAC Sumptuous Olive Tutorial. I will link that up here for you guys. I filmed that last year and I'm still in love with that look and I think it is so great for this time of year. So that is gonna be using my MAC Sumptuous Olive Eyeshadow. One of my favorites, it looks very beautiful on my eye color. If I do say myself, it really just brings out the green in my eyes. So those are the eyeshadows that I plan on rocking this month. So for eyeliner and mascara this month, I'm going to be using the, hopefully the last bit of my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Eyeliner and Nude. I also have my Maybelline Lime Stiletto Liquid Liner. For mascara, I have the Calvin Klein one mascara. I got this from Ulta as their free birthday gift and then my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara. So as you guys can see, I look a little bit different. When I went to edit my monthly makeup basket, I realized that the lip products part of my video had corrupted the audio, so I am refilming it. 
and let's just jump into the lip products i have six here three or more on the peachy side and i do have three brights the peachy colors are very more fall to me, but I'm not ready to give up my bright lip product. So I have a little bit of both in this video. First, I'm going to start with some lip liners that I have. So I have my NYX Wonder Pencil and Light. I always use this to go around my lips and just clean up the edges. So here is a swatch of it if you can see it. Then I also have the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Nude. I absolutely love this. I bought this after Emily Noel 83 recommended it so much. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous color and the formula is great. So it's this swatch right here. And I wear this mostly with my Too Faced La Creme Lipstick in Country Star. This is limited edition. It came out with the Country Palette, but it's out right now. And it is an Ulta exclusive, so you won't be able to find it at Sephora, but you can get it on the Too Faced website. So I did film a review on this product. I will link it up here for you guys. This is just a beautiful peachy nude. I am obsessed with this color and it is swatched right here. Next is one of my all time favorite lip products. That would be the Revlon Lip Butter and Peach Parfait. This does have some shimmer to it. It reminds me very much of the NARS Orgasm and here is a swatch of it. So some people don't like it because of the shimmer. I can't feel it on my lips, but I think it makes them look a bit fuller. So I actually quite like the shimmer. And then my last peach lipstick is the Stila Color Bomb Lipstick in Avery. This was in my makeup basket last month, but I didn't get to wear it as much as I wanted to. And this is more of a pastel peach, which is so beautiful as well. So I've got it right here. So that is also a bit brighter, but it goes with a lot of makeup looks and I think it's so beautiful. So I want to give some more love to that. Then for my brights, they are all jumbo lip pencils. The first one I have is the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks uh, Balm Stain in the shade Tangerine and Tribal. This is part of a limited edition collection that I just found. Even though it was out for summer, I just found it. So here it is swatched right here. It's a beautiful color and it actually has like a nice minty cooling sensation that if you don't get that immediately. It's really kind of interesting, but I do quite like this product. I've only worn it once or twice. Then I have my MAC Patent Polish and Go For Girly. This has been in my favorites. I have loved this, but I can't stop wearing it. So that is the shade right here. And I'll link my review video up here if you're interested. And the day that I posted my review video, I looked for some more colors of these and I was happy to find that the shade Fearless that I wanted was in stock. So I was so excited about that and I had to buy it. And it is here, it is just a blue tone pink. So there are my six lip products that I plan on wearing this month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there are any products that you're gonna focus on using this month. And let me know if you want a review on any of these products or if you would like them to be featured in a tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.